Yeah, ritual sword's more... Oh, I already had it. Whoops. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it's more convenient. But yeah, we, we definitely can get it. It's just most most of most of these runs I'm not gonna be getting red feather, so I it kinda feels bad on, on a run like this to get it. To try to make it more powerful. Because a lot of what we're doing here is kind of comparing the weapons against each other and see which ones are better for no hitting. And uh And yeah, so. Oh, I'm really far back here. I guess he's dead. <laughs> Jesus, dude. But now I'm not going to get Howl off. See if it lasts for long enough here. Pretty good. Yeah, with Red Feather, it looks like we have enough. Golden Bow Incant would be really good, but we're not going to Gelmir anymore or Volcano Manor, so probably just going to not get it. Uh, WD40, thanks for the 10-month uh, Prime sub, dude. Welcome back. Yeah, maybe I end up using Red Feather here. And, and we could also use it on uh, Malaketh. That would help a little bit. Guess that's what we'll do. Uh, beer a beer. Thanks for the uh, brand new prime stuff, dude. Not good. Oh, okay, we got it. It is good. Oh, man, if I had the explosion there. Oh, the F. Oh, dude, it, I, I need to get, like, a, a sacred tear or something. We need to get a sacred tear. Okay, let, let's just go. I, I, I This is kind of... Let's just do this run, because we we spent way too long routing this thing. Yeah, that's kind of... I'm not... Uh, not the biggest fan of this thing. Because, like, that's a good example right there. Like, we need to spend quite a bit of time getting the proper kill for this to work. I think we're going to go with the Lands Between Room. Join the dark side in a minute that this is a good boss yet. Elden Beast, you're saying? Uh, no, I still gave him like a C tier in my tier list, I think. I, I stand by that. Oh, that's true. But C, C tier isn't bad, though. Like, necessarily. I, I, Elden Beast has grown on me a little bit. Ever since, uh, well, I have all my, <laughs> I have ER tools still going on. Ignore that. 
Um. What was I saying? Yeah, he's grown on me a little bit. He went from like a D tier to a C tier for me. Let's go on ice. Much better casual weapon than no hit. I don't know, actually. I guess so, but you'd also think on no hit, you would be able to maximize the Ash of War because of, yeah, how awkward it is to try to use it. And so you could plan out using it a bit more, but I think maybe casually, since you can tank hits, then the speed that it comes out doesn't matter as much. Like, that's probably what... Um... Like, that probably makes it a bit better for casual, right? I guess. There's no question, it's good early game, but a lot of weapons are good early game, right? A lot of weapons are good early game, so that doesn't necessarily mean much. Uh, Valhalla, thanks for the 50 month resub, dude. Thanks, man. But yeah, in terms of what weapon would I take, this or the whip that we just did? I, I think there's no question that this is better right but at the same time it's kind of it's it's better but it's not good enough to just easily script everything like dark moon greatsword or serpent hunter or whatever so i i don't know man but yeah i i, I guess yeah you would take you would take this weapon for sure even though that entire time that just lapsed is how long it took me to get the whip run like in total basically I, I usually wear pants, at, at least at the start of these runs. Is there an Elden Ring boss that made S tier? Yeah, there's, there was, um, the highest was Malaketh and then Moog, and that was it, I believe. But you, I can play turning to aid you. You need O to the foot. Then it's summon me. Ah, I bequeath. It will summon Torrent to treat him with. No, Malakat does not suck. That's. <laughs> like what? There's no way that you could look at Malakat and say that he sucks. There's just no way. Like, there's some other bosses that. You know, even about I put Ivory King in S tier, I could understand somebody being like, okay, the boss part is cool, but you know, maybe the phase one, the the big battle ruins it for them, and then that that, that it would mean that they don't put an S tier or something, which is understandable. But boss like Malakit, like there's really there's no possible way that you could not like I guess maybe you could not like the balancing part of the fight. I guess that's fair, but. I put Morgoth in A tier. Yeah, in terms of his, his moveset and the, the... Like, everything about the fight other than his HP, I, I, I think is perfect. And his poise health. But no, uh, like, Malakaz is obviously an S tier boss. Basically, for, like, anybody, I would say. I, I can't remember if he made it into my top like five. I he we, no, he wasn't my top five, but he, I think he was in my top ten. So I still have to go and highlight that tier list. Yeah, and, and and the beast yeah the beast clergyman fight on its own is insanely fun. I enjoy fighting beast clergyman more than the actual Malketh phase personally. Yeah, two really good phases, and uh, like you look sweet. I don't know. Definitely, though, in my in my first playthrough, I don't remember blasting through his HP bar, even though I had a decent build. 
Oh, actually, I don't know how this kill works with this setup. Can you hear me? Help me. I think my pebble has enough range to... Hello? Hello? Oh, I at ease. I thank you. Oh my god, what? I guess we'll just use magic with this. I, I thought he'd get stunned by that sword or two, but. Nearly all first playthroughs you watch, they either nuke his HP first try. I, I, like, that's hard to believe, even though. I, I, I. I don't know, man. Like, did people really have that good of builds first playthrough? I'm not gonna lie, though. I can't really remember my first Malaketh encounter. Maybe I did blast him with bleed or something. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess mimic. Maybe. Yeah, true. Honestly, though, it like you can't. I guess you can. You can 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 factor it in. But in my opinion, if if like the only way you fought all the boss in the game is just like using the summons, then that's not a good enough basis to like rank bosses. I think. Like, oh yeah, I just, you know, every boss, like, I, at that point, <laughs> every boss is the same, right? The only thing that changes is how they look. Like, you go in, you mimic tier, you got your Night Comet spam, and then every boss fight goes the same way, so. But yeah, that's, that's more of an issue with the game's balancing rather than the actual boss fight itself. Crucible do without a summon. Yeah, honestly, summons. I, I really, I think that they sort of. Um, I think a lot of the bosses they sort of balanced around summons a little bit, at least, or maybe that's what they were thinking with all the duo fights, right? Maybe that's what they were thinking. It's like, yeah, that's fine because they're just going to summon anyways. Yeah, I, I personally. Um, I think that'd be if, if that's actually what they did. That's a huge mistake. And I really, I, I yeah, personally, I, I don't like summons, honestly. Like, if they were just taken out of the game, I would have zero issue with that. Um, not because I don't want people to not beat the game, be, but more because if if they, we never used the charge to or charge attack, did we? I don't know, but yeah, if but more because if they balance the game around them, then that's that's where the issue comes in. That's 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 the issue, I think. Wouldn't be designed around summons. You you think so? Like the boss in this game overall? I I'm gonna take a quick break, you guys, really quick. I'm just gotta do something really fast. Let me just rest here. One second, you guys.
Okay. Um, hopefully waiting here didn't mess anything up. Yeah, so that so that's why, you know, when it comes to the summons and stuff, I'm not I'm not really a huge fan of them. But yeah, I guess if if they're not balancing the bosses around it and and they just don't think about it at all when making some of the bosses, then I'm fine with it, but I think in this game they did. I'm pretty sure they did. Considering that the, they put so many duo fights in this game. Anyone told me I look like a better version of Handsome Squidward? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know how that is true, but. Yeah, like I would genuinely rather, well, I don't know actually. I was going to say I would I would rather them almost put like a difficulty slider in the game than make bosses that are balanced around summoning. Like I probably would. Like a difficulty slider that adjusts the damage that your character takes basically. Uh lost though. Thanks for the 9 3 sub dude. But the thing that's cool about these games, though, is that you kind of don't need that. Because you can just do that in the game, right? And it's just dependent on your build. I, like, I think part of the reason why difficulty settings in these games sound so bad is because the game's already... Well, the games are balanced, and if you want... Like, for example, yeah, all the difficulty slider would do, at least in most games, what it does is just adjust basically damage dealt and taken. Um, but if you do that, it, it completely negates the need to adjust your build for something, which like the whole point of these games is to make a good build or make a build to do whatever. So I'm going to have to do something in a second, you guys. Maybe we should have rested that grace. All right, one sec, you guys. One moment. I'll just quit out. It doesn't actually matter. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh I don't know. I I, I really because that's always the topic when a new soul when a new Souls game gets released. It's always like, is that crowd of people who are man? Why does this game not have difficulty sliders in it, or, or difficulty settings in it, or whatever? Yeah, I, I I don't like the idea of that in these games. I I don't think it's really necessary. Uh, Exo Key, thanks for the uh brand new prime stuff, dude. Yeah, always left on your balls, dude. Give people the option? Yeah, I guess that's the debate, right? It's like, on one hand, people say that the game doesn't need them because it's already well-balanced and, and whatever. But then on the other hand, it's people saying like, okay, that's fair, but... Why wouldn't you just include them so that people could use them if they wanted? But honestly, like, I think it's not it's not that easy, right? That's not all there is to it.
And yeah, that, that's a good point. I, I, I don't think every single game needs to be made for every single person, right? I definitely lean more towards just not having any sort of thing like that in the game. And I think most Souls players are obviously uh, fine with that, but... Yeah, I do think, you know, it, it wouldn't be the same, especially the way the way people talk about these games and stuff. When you have a game that would have, div like, different difficulty settings, not everybody has the same experience at that point, and it, it's kind of it's kind of not the same, right? It's not the same accomplishment for everybody, and I don't know. It would be off for sure. Because, yeah, the reality is a lot of people see beating these games as an accomplishment, and especially there's a lot of there's a lot of streamers who, like, variety streamers who, you know, go through the Souls games because there's really good stream content because they keep dying and stuff, but it's not, like, if... I, I don't know. It, it's, just, it's definitely not the same. If it's like, yeah, the streamer beat... Um, you know, the streamer beat Dark Souls 3, 2, and 1, or whatever, and now they're working on, like, Skiro or something, but... They did it on the, like, easiest setting, so it's, it's kind of different, right? Not that that's, like, a re really good argument to not have them. I'm just saying that's, that's how it would be, though. And, th and this is coming from, like, it's coming from me who, through the course of my gaming history, I've always played games on basically just the easiest difficulty, every time. Um, basically every time I would do it that way, because I'm not really so focused on trying to make the game a challenge for myself. But literally, like, the whole point of these games is that you learn and then you win, right? So... It, it kind of just defeats the the a, a good chunk of the purpose of the game even existing in the first place. So, I, I guess that maybe that's the I, I'm trying to figure out what the issue I have with adding difficulty settings in this game would be, or in a Souls game, and maybe that's what it is, right? It's just it's completely opposite of what the purpose of the game even is. So, yeah, I, I think that's probably what it is, I guess. It just, it wouldn't feel right, because it's not the goal of the game. And yeah, probably what a difficulty setting would do is just, yeah, like I said earlier, would just adjust the um, amount of damage you take, and probably the amount of damage you deal. Which, again, you can just... Especially since you can do that in the game yourself with the different build options. If you want to be tankier, you can go full defensive build and basically take no damage. Or if you want insane damage, you can optimize for it. If you want to. I don't know how this topic got brought up right now, but... Um... Yeah, that's true, Valaris. Yeah, that that's that's true. That's hundred percent true. People with disabilities who would benefit from easier difficulty. Honestly, yeah, that that's fair. Um, what I would recommend for you know. For those people who, like, really just wouldn't be able to play the game is... Like, I guess this would only be for PC, but just, like, go ahead, get Cheat Engine, turn on No Death, and then just play the game that way. I, I don't think FromSoft should add something like that to the game.
And like that that probably would be a fun way for people to enjoy, it, right? Like you're still going through every boss, but you just never die because you have no death on or whatever. Like they could do that, but I don't think FromSoft should should like add it to the game. But yeah, if people want to play the game that way, then they absolutely can. people play through console um i'm sure a good chunk yeah But yeah, for, for me though, like I said earlier, I don't think that every single game needs to be for everybody. There's a lot of games that <laughs> that have been made that um, that aren't for me, but I'm not going to really worry too much about, you know, trying to uh, make them adapt the game so that it, it suits what I want. I, like, I just won't play the game, you know? Like, not that, not that that's... Again, that's not really a good reason to just not, <laughs> like, add that sort of stuff in. Like saying, it's not a good reason, but that's just that's just how I feel about you know other games, I guess. Even though, yeah, that's not actually a good argument for why they shouldn't add difficulty into these games, but. I just play Roblox. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... I, I honestly, I can't put my finger on what it is, really. Like, I, I said earlier that it might just be that... It'd be completely opposite of what the game's goal... At least one of the main goals of the game is... Adding, adding difficulty like that, but I, I, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's just the way I play these games. I, I don't, I don't. When I play these games, I'm not. There might be things that I'm not looking for that other people are. Um, for example, when I go through a game like, uh, like Skyrim, right, or or Morrowind or something. Yeah, I always turn the difficulty settings low there because when I'm going through the game, I'm not actually. I'm not at looking for a, a difficult experience. I'm looking to just, you know, enjoy the story and do the quest lines and all that stuff. But I just, I, 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 I have a hard time in this game seeing what there is beyond that, basically, right? Like, sure, the world's pretty nice, but, but, like, what else is there, dude? To determine if you have, it seems torrent. What else even is there? Well, I can take you gathering plate. Very well. Let my hand. So that's that's why I have an issue with it, I guess. That's why I don't see it. Um, I guess I'll I'll spend some runes here. But I really do think, I, I think there's something that I, I can't exactly describe about these games that would, I think the, like, I don't know. There's something about the way these games are seen by the community who, who have played them even, like, you know, between once and, and, you know, hundreds of times that would be, like, taken away if there was easier settings so that people could beat them. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it other than that, dude.
I really don't know. Because these are seen as... Now, whether it's correct or not, these are like these games are seen as one of the hardest game series of all time, even though that's very debatable. But that would probably go away, I think. If, if you know, there was an easy mode setting where you just never died and whatever. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's 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 gatekeeping or not, but I don't think so. I, I don't think that's well. Maybe it it is in in like to some degree, but I don't think that's actually what it is. I think I just think it has something to do with the level of accomplishment in beating something that you know is difficult and that a lot of other people didn't beat especially i you know a lot of people like to talk about the the achievements in the game and seeing how many people beat these bosses and you know you're on an even playing field with everybody else right i, I think there's probably some sense of accomplishment in that for me i never really uh like experienced that because i, I didn't even know about that first when i played dark Souls 3 and at this point like i just play these games all the time so it's a bit different But yeah, I, I I don't know. I but basically, it's it's really hard to describe because I don't know how to put my finger on what I'm exactly getting at. But yeah, definitely I I wouldn't I would not be a fan of uh, difficulty difficulty settings in these games. And if there were, I it's not like I would stop playing them or something. But. Okay, we're gonna go old alt this year. Gatekeeping be good? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, no, I, I genuinely think, though, if people want to play the game this that badly and there's some, you know, some reason why they, they can't play it on the normal settings, which I have to imagine is not... Um, like, that wouldn't be a huge number of people, but if they really wanted to play them and they, they couldn't for whatever reason, then I think it would be totally fair to just go through the game, get Cheat Engine going, and then put on No Death, right? I think that'd be a totally fair thing to do. No, it's not superiority. Like, I, I'm... No, I, I completely disagree. I, I don't think it is gatekeeping. I don't think so. I... I... Because... I, Unless it is, and I just... I, I don't know. It's really hard to describe what I'm trying to say. So we have 2,000 runes. Uh, do I got the beast torch? Okay, good. I guess I want this grace here. I don't know. I think it's almost like there's an overlap between the feeling of an accomplishment and, and especially when. Again, like, people know these games are hard games. And so when you actually beat it, there's a level of accomplishment that comes from the fact knowing that you just beat a game that everyone thinks is really hard. Um, and so, yeah, like, I guess if you boil it down, yeah, there's some level of, like, superiority that you might be feeling, sort of, but it's not really, like...
Oh, what the fuck? Your skill. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't know what happened there, but uh, I didn't get hit. That's all I know. I, I wonder which guy that was, actually. No idea. That's just, I, that's the most lucky I've ever been on a no-hit run, I feel like, dude. I, I cannot think of a, a case where I've been more lucky than that. Yeah, and I can't hear anything because someone's like cutting logs outside and it's really loud. I didn't close my window. Games have little to offer on an easy setting. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I tend to agree. Like, that's kind of what I was saying earlier, where... I, I personally don't see really what else you get out of these games, other than... You know, a nice-looking world. You know, the games look nice. It, well, at least this one does. So I guess there's that, but then other than that, and difficulty and, and a challenge, I don't, I don't know, dude. God, God, run video saying it wasn't legit because I did Demon Souls remake. I did see that, yeah. Uh, would have turned down the difficulty in your first playthrough out of frustration. Yeah, that's another, that's a good point too, honestly. Yeah. Like even just giving people the option is like, yeah, that that's totally fair. Yeah. When, when things get tough, it's like, oh man, I could just change this setting and it'd be easy to do. Like it's just, it's such a conflict, right? Because it makes sense from, uh, like numerous per perspectives to do it. But again, I, I do think you'd be taking away something that makes these games so... I, I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I think you guys kind of know what I'm saying, where... It, it would be taking away something from these games, I think. I just, I don't know how to describe it, other than that. I really don't. But obviously, I it, it wouldn't. I would like more people to be playing the games. I guess. To be honest, I guess I don't really. Like it doesn't affect me at all. But um, like I guess it, w it wouldn't be a bad thing if more people could just enjoy the game, right? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough... I, I haven't really thought about it, honestly. Um, I haven't really thought about it until today. Because obviously, that those were the big discussions when the game came out. As with all the Souls games, and when Sekiro came out, it was the exact same. This game, exact same. But, yeah, I don't know.
People play Souls games want to feel pain and then satisfaction after uh, beating boss slash game. I, I agree with that. I agree. Yeah, I agree. And, and yeah, maybe that's what I'm trying to get at, right? Is the, like, maybe that gets taken away because... Um, yeah, someone might have just put on the easiest setting. But then at the same time, is that being, you know... Is that being gatekeepy or whatever people were saying earlier? Like, I guess, maybe? He would agree, I think it, it probably is, but... Oh, 100% WD. Like, these games can be so easy if if you do a bit of research on what the best, you know, best setups are and, and how to do stuff. These games can be made trivial, honestly. Uh, Zed, thanks so much for the brand new prompt sub, dude. Like, that's an absolute fact, especially this game, right? You can take... Probably, you could probably take, like, a... I don't know. You could probably take a toddler to and, and make them beat this game if you just... Give them the give them a good build and like very simple instructions. So yeah, I, I agree, Ice, and I, I I do think that's probably what how most people who enjoy these games feel about it. But then obviously there's people who don't enjoy these games that might. And like maybe they don't want that and so that's why I don't play it but again I don't think this game needs to be made for those people necessarily and I don't know I don't know how many people actually think that or so there's people that think that there should be difficulty settings in these games but they still play them and they still beat them but I don't know how many people there are that would only play them if there was a difficulty slider in the game I wonder how many people that would be I didn't buy a bow Also, I need this grace anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, what a what a what a useless discussion, honestly. <laughs> At least for me, because I, I just I, I'm still as confused as before. All I know is that I don't want them, but I don't really know why. Other than just the fact that I feel like it would change something about the games that I, I can't even describe properly in a bad way. Yeah, we also don't have any stone swords right now. So, whoops. I, yeah, I, I would agree that it's 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 really not a big um, issue though in in terms of the amount of people that care about it. I think like always, there's there's a small group of people, like especially on on Twitter or whatever, that you know make a fuss about it, and it, it reaches a lot of people, but it's just not a lot of people even think the same way. So yeah, I forgot to buy the boat earlier. I wonder how much, if this is the run, I wonder how much is going to be included in the YouTube video, and then, <laughs> um, and then what those comments are going to look like. I guarantee most of my YouTube audience would not like, well, most of the Souls audience doesn't, wouldn't want it anyway, so, they'd be like, yeah, man, you're totally right, it ruins the game. Just, I don't know how, though. Like, I sort of do, but I can't describe it properly. Golden Epitaph.
Long pointless rant. Yeah, basically. But I guess the thing is, usually when I talk about stuff, I at least put some thought into it beforehand. <laughs> but this one, I, I, I don't even know how it got brought up, dude. I have no idea. They're talking about summons for bosses, I think. Is it wrong to pee in the sink when your significant other is in the bathroom? Um, I don't know, man. Maybe. Yeah, and for me too. I like, like I said, I, I basically every game I played before this was on the easiest difficulty, and uh, and I also I'm somebody who searches stuff up my first playthrough. I, I don't care about that stuff, dude. Right? I'm not I'm not the I'm not the Souls player who is sitting here and being like, man, I need the perfect first playthrough, and I need to go totally no spoilers. I need to you know do all that stuff. To make it as hard as possible and get the true experience. I, I I don't mind searching up like areas and how to get through stuff and all that stuff. I love how he just like slowly falls down now. So I guess we'll go here. Using magic to kill the scarab is better. You know, who cares about difficulty settings? What this game really needed was good music, dude. <laughs> if I really want to trigger everybody. This game needed good music, good ambient OST, and it just doesn't. If this game had... Man, if I'm exploring this world and there's some insane soundtrack playing i would i would like i would give this game probably an extra point rating in my scale i gave it like a 7.6 or something it would be it would be an 8.6 probably dude that's uh, i i like i care about the music a lot and it's just it's not there in this game yeah the boss osts are good though I guess it's just that's not really what I care about. So I, I think Hob made a really good point. He was talking about it one one of his streams and he was basically saying that they were they were too scared to really try something super ambitious with it. Because they probably weren't sure how people were gonna think about it. I think he's totally right. I think he's hundred percent right. I think that's what they were thinking. They were like Hey, let's, let's add something because it's an open world game and it's going to be really bland if it's just you're exploring and there's nothing going on. But, you know, we haven't put music really before, so let's make it pretty simple. Simple doesn't mean bad, but in this case, it's okay. Yeah, Landale's okay. I agree. I think it's probably the best one. Even then, though, when when I'm used to playing, I was saying the other day, when I'm used to playing some of these games that just have such insane OSTs in it, like Elder Souls, all the Elder Souls games, I, I guess I haven't played the first two, but 3, 4, and 5, all insane. Um, 
FTL has an insane sound. Like, soundtracks where you're playing them, and that is one of the most memorable things about the game. Is, is you know... I, I don't know. I maybe I, I think it's partially just a preference thing that I, I don't really... Most of the boss OSTs that are in the game, I don't really care for them too much. So, and if you do like that style of music, then it probably is more memorable, I guess. But, yeah, when you're exploring, though... And, and you really have time to... Because a lot of time what happens with, with boss music is you're, you're fighting the boss. You're not paying attention to the music. You're just... You're fighting the boss, dude. And when you're exploring is where you can really... Uh, like, actually pay attention to it. And yeah, dude. I, I just turned it off in this game. Like, I, I listened to it in the areas when I first got there. And I basically just turned it off every time. Okay, so we do need three faith. Uh, how much faith do I need? Is it 14? You need to get more anyways later, but. Oh, you know what we're also going to get? I forgot. We're also going to go get the uh, faith here. Play the game more than most, so I grow tired of the OST faster. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, this stream right now is a great example. What music am I listening to right now? Do exclamation mark song in the chat. Oh, wow. Exclamation mark song in the chat. I wonder how many hours I've listened to this soundtrack, dude. Or just Elder Scrolls music overall. Probably, like, <laughs> probably a lot. Probably a lot of time. And it's because when it, if, if, if a song is so good, you can just listen to it forever, dude. You know? And 100%, when I'm playing Elder, Elder Scrolls games, I have the sound maxed out every time. And it's because it's so good, it, it doesn't get old, dude. And again, this game doesn't have it. And, and this game would be taken to the next level if when I was exploring all the areas in my first playthrough, I, I heard this, like, I don't know, slapping soundtrack. Uh, where am I going? And I, I didn't really think about it much because I, I've been spoiled with all these games with amazing soundtracks in them. Ambient soundtracks for exploration, basically. And... So, you know, it was there the whole time, and I was, I, I, I just didn't really think about how important it was until I started playing Souls games, and it was totally missing. And, and then it was at that point where I realized how, how much of a difference it makes to me. So I'm sure there's lots of people who don't really care that much about it. Like, they're just not as into music or whatever. But, yeah, for me, it's huge. It just totally changes an experience of a game. So, so yeah, it's it's too bad because I I think it would be, I think they'd be capable. I I, I forget who composed the soundtrack in this game, but they they do a great job with the boss soundtracks, hundred percent. But I I just value. I think the ambient is more important, dude. That's probably what you're listening to more as well, right? There's a lot more exploration time in this game than there is boss fighting. And then oftentimes, too, if if I am listening to boss OST and I'm fighting a boss, if I'm dying on them over and over again, I don't really just want to hear the same thing over and over and over and over again, especially when it's very uh, intense. Again, that's just a preference thing, but... Okay, I, I didn't uh, do the things I needed to here. I didn't uh, get stealth, so we'll see what happens here. Some miles away. Blasted.
clearly didn't just make a huge mistake aggroing this guy. Yeah, <laughs> seven bots, by the way. Yeah, I actually, when we were testing this, I, I one-shotted him, but we didn't one-shot him because I we didn't get a headshot there, obviously. Okay, so we've gotten the weapon. Let's go upgrade it. Um, uh, what, what is next even? Are we done the setup? Oh yeah, dude, it's 54 minutes. It hasn't felt like that long, but we do have to go get, uh, Golden Vow. Yeah, let's go get Golden Vow. Also, also, let me get this going. Wow, can I really put that many levels in right now? Seems kind of risky. No, we need a bunch of decks for this weapon. Yeah, we need. To, I was wondering when it didn't look right. Uh, Spencer, thanks for the eight month resub and Ghostly Win. Thanks for the brand new Prime sub, dude. It was seventeen. We definitely could. I, I could. could not level up that much in, in these stats and just use the, the sore seal and then pump all of it into int, but I don't know. This is probably fine, right? I didn't get red feather yet, actually, but I guess I, yeah, I guess we are going to use it, right? We don't really need it until way later, though. Okay, so let's go um... First of all, do I have fire pots? Good. Oh, you know what I haven't tested actually before? Is this section not using Gambit? I assume it's the exact same. Let's go on Blackbird. Uh, we, we figured out getting using uh, Frenzy Stone. Unseen form is, is really nice um, in a lot of ways, especially since you can cast, cast it on horse. Like compared to Gambit, I usually have to jump off and... Oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Good thing I had another one. Would have been a huge mistake. Okay, so uh, we'll fight the Avatar now. And then after Avatar, I guess we go fight um, Patches. We can equip this. We can't We can't use it for a while, though. But Oh, yeah, I was also going to go get Golden Vow. I didn't actually test out this kill with Golden uh, on the horse, but I assume I assume it's fine.
was looking forward to alerts with Fallen, but when you saw co combat and audio feedback, like feedback from other people, you're saying? Dude, it's it must be so hard to release a Souls like game, man. There's no no company has or no studio has ever made a, a Souls like game and it actually be like very like super well received, you know? Like there's always people that just Oh, feedback from hitting things. Oh, okay. That's what I thought you meant at first, but I think I think Liza P is the the most well received Souls like I've ever seen for sure. Like people are speed running it. I think I saw people running no hit in it maybe, and that's definitely the most well received one so far. Even then, like even then though, I've still seeing people like just not like it at all. Well, Neo, yeah, Neo is well received for sure, but it's it's different though. It's not just like a copy paste Souls like or something like that way more unique. No, I don't, I don't hate Lies I think it's a good game. I do like it. <laughs> he hates it. Yeah, surely I hate it, dude. No, I think there's a lot of good things about um, Liza P, but there's a lot of, like, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's impossible to go through those games and, well, at least for me, and just not think about how it's not better than a Souls game, basically. Like, just noticing all the little details. Yeah, we're going to be playing uh, Lords of the Fallen, though, on Sunday. So, we'll see with that game. All the Souls mechanics, but none of the charm slash polish. Yeah, I think a lot of people say that, but I honestly, I don't, I don't know exactly what they mean. Like I think I think saying it's not as polished is just it's like an easy way to just say that it's just not as good in basically every way. Like when you guys see polished, what do you what do you think about that? Like if you say that, it's not as polished. What does that mean? Because when I when I think about it, I I, I guess I would agree. But when I when I think about it, it'd be like, okay, the polish, the things that are not as as well done are the areas, like the detailing in the areas. I think is the weakest part of the game, which I guess could be considered a polish. I, I guess. Um, the the bosses are not as the bosses are good in the game, especially for a Souls like. But like maybe that's where the like polish really comes in. I guess. It's just they're not as well done, so. I assume I can just do this to him. Oh, oh my god, it almost, almost killed him instantly. Wait, wait, 
But yeah, I think that's an easy way of, like, saying it's not polished is kind of an easy way of just saying that it, it's just not as, like, I, I don't know. It's not as good, <laughs> basically. Not as good overall. Um, okay, so we killed Batches. Let's go get the Shackle. Are we good to go, finally? Magic tier is in, I think. Magic faith tier. I can't think of anything we're missing, so... Wise Speed is more polished than Demon Souls. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played the original Demon Souls, so... I, I don't know, but... Like... You would think, <laughs> right? Considering a game came out... What, 15 years later? It better be more... It better be a better game. Am right, better be. Even then, though, like... Again, I haven't played the original, but... There's a lot of really well-done things in Demon's Souls, though. Let's go to Z's. No, it, it does. No, I'm, I'm just saying... Um... No, I, I really like the game. But what I was saying was... It's, uh... I, basically what I was saying is how it's insanely hard to make a Souls-like game. Because of... Like I was saying that, I, I've never seen... I've never seen a Souls-like game come out, also get blasted. <laughs> where... Um, there hasn't been a decent chunk of just negative feedback of the game, and I think it's just because people, you have to compare it to a Souls game, and it's like, okay, this isn't as good, and why would I play this over just a Souls game, right? Especially with how replayable these games are. It's like, yeah, you can just start up another playthrough in one of these games instead. Um, I think I said I was going to get Ritual Sword, actually, before this fight, but you just do it after. Oh, yeah, Vera, that's 100% true, dude. Yeah, and it, there, there's so many things, especially in, in this game, because it's, you know, it's a modern game. It came out last year, and I think there's a lot of things that they put in this game that are just atrocious like horrible decisions but it's um i think it's overlooked a lot i i really think that people overlook a lot of the issues in the souls games because of their reputation and and stuff like that I'm not saying these games are bad and people just are you know thinking they're good or wrong but I think a lot of the misses just do get overlooked. I mean, just look at look at Dark Souls 1, for example, right? And sure, that game came out a while ago, over 10 years ago. But, I mean, that game has so many just atrocious things in it. But, we just, like, don't really... Um, Like, for sure, it has way more good things than bad, and it's still it's a good game and stuff, but... I feel like, they, like I was saying, I think they get overlooked a bit. Except in Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 is the only one where the issues do not get overlooked, because people like to really hate that game. But I think Dark Souls 1 especially...
And that's another good point too, actually. Yeah, people don't really talk about how these games are basically just a copy paste of each other. And FromSoft really does not like changing things up at all. So, so I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but. Mostly because DS2 was a downgrade at, from DS1. Yeah, that's a that's a fair opinion. Even though, it, like that is not. It, it depends how you're looking at it. Because I would 100% disagree with that. Like wholeheartedly, I disagree with that. But you can think that obviously. And and sure, like in in some ways, it is a downgrade. I I would agree. But for my taste, it's an upgrade in in most ways. Right? So it depends what you're looking for, obviously. You just look at my, uh, look at my game rating list spreadsheet or whatever. Is worse mechanics in DS1? Again, it's just, it all depends what you prefer, but I, I get, like... <laughs> I, I don't know. There's no way it has worse mechanics, I don't think. I don't know, man. Especially when all these games are so similar, too. Right? It's, it's just, like, little nitpicking things, I, I think. A lot of the time. Last of that boss... I, I agree with that, uh, Abyssian. I, I I agree with that, hundred percent. Ah, we get. So when am I gonna get my thirteen faith? Maybe I should just put a couple points in because I'm kind of concerned. I won't have enough runes runes after this, but I'll probably just stop at ten, and that'll be enough. Magic tier. This one going. I was going to try to uh, lay one down here, but I think I was too slow. Get blasted. Bloodborne was From's first good game. I don't know, man. I, I I guess it's it's hard for me to to say because I haven't played the original Demon Souls, but there's no way original Demon Souls is a bad game. Like, there's no way. And as far as I'm aware, basically all the AI is the same in the remake. The only thing that's different is just how the game looks. And uh, so, if that's true, then Demon Souls is a fantastic game. Overall, like, the enemies are cool, the bosses are, you know, they're not modern bosses, like we're used to in the Souls games now, but they're still really good. 
I think. And there's cool ideas there and all that stuff. The areas, I don't know if I already said the areas are really good. Like Demon's Souls is not a bad game, especially factoring in when it came out. I'm not sure why DS1 was, was more popular than Demon's Souls, but I guess it's just <laughs> like, I, I have no idea considering they're, they're so similar. I think it's just luck, right? Probably. Unless, I, I don't know. I wasn't around I'm paying attention to Souls games at that point in time, but... Maybe the fact that it was only on console, maybe? I, I don't know. Really, the only, the, the biggest difference between the two is just, yeah, other than, like, I mean, in, in the games, you know, the, only, the biggest difference is just that DS1 is a singular world, whereas Demon Souls is not. So, is that really a big enough difference to... I think probably, a lot, honestly, I, I would say a lot of people probably haven't even touched Demon Souls at all, which is fair. Probably most of the, the Souls fans at this point just haven't even played Demon's Souls at all. Uh, Ray, thanks for the two-month Prime sub, dude. We'll go from here. Like Demon Souls been in DS1, I I 100% did. Yeah, I like again. I only played the remake though, so I don't know how much that's uh, the remake improves my opinion of the game. But 100%, my first playthrough of Demon Souls was more enjoyable than uh, Dark Souls One. And also, like even right now, I think I like Demon Souls just more than Dark Souls One. Um, and and here's the I think part of the reason is for me. Uh, I I prefer what I remember. My after my first playthrough of Demon Souls, I was like, man, I really prefer them to just go with a different level style, like breaking up the world. And because if, if you're gonna, I think if you're gonna try to make it a, a big world that's connected and stuff, I would rather you just go with like go all or nothing basically, go with an open world game with all these areas connected, just like they did in Elden Ring. I'd rather that than kind of going sort of in between open world and sort of not. So I kind of like that they just focused on breaking up the levels and making the level design cool. Um, I kind of prefer that. And then obviously that removes a lot of the issues that DS1 has, right? It's, everyone talks about how good DS1 world is and that's fair. Except when you get out of the first section of the game, then it's not so good anymore. And... Uh, that's kind of a problem, right? Demon Souls doesn't have that problem. So yeah, I kind of like it better. Champion! Obviously, I, I, I've, I've always said I like open world games a lot and I like the exploration part of it. So I, I always will prefer them. But I'd rather you just go, you know, break it up into different levels than try to make, especially Dark Souls 3. I think Dark, you know, Dark Souls 1 is not too bad with it, especially since they made it work pretty well, at least for a portion of the game. But Dark Souls 3 is where it really shows like, man, why these war these areas do not have to be connected. And it doesn't even make sense that they're connected. And then the same with DS2, 100% same with DS2, like DS2 and 3. Absolutely no reason for it. And I probably would like the games better if it was just broken up just like Demon's Souls was. Okay. Uh, I didn't get Howl. Oh, yes, I did. Did I level up the faith? Dude, uh, what am I doing? Okay, well, this isn't the first time I've done this, but I guess no Howl.
Yeah, Bloodborne does it decently well, too. I guess what, you know, what, one thing that I think maybe not everyone would agree with this, but I think, uh, is similar between Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1 is that there's not a ton of variety in terms of like the atmosphere of the different areas. Oh, is this fast enough? Damn it, this still should just destroy him, I would assume. Like, <laughs> we don't need that extra 25% or whatever it is. Uh, Wild Potato Pizza, thanks for the Brandy Prime show, dude. But yeah, especially Bloodborne. Like, one thing I'm not a huge fan of it is that... I don't know, the, the atmosphere across the game, and maybe this this is good to, to a degree. But it, it feels all very similar to me. Um... And, and that, that makes sense, right? For a world, it makes sense that it's cohesive like that. But I, I kind of like in, in Demon Souls that there's distinctly different areas and, and they're not trying to connect them like in Dark Souls 3 where it's like, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Same with DS2, right? So I, I think that kind of just comes down to preference probably. Okay, we got that faith. And even, even the snow area in, in Bloodborne is like, it's still the same. Just there's snow on the ground, kind of. Which, again, it, it makes a lot of sense that your world is cohesive and stuff. But it's just, I, I, I do like... I like kind of... I think Sekiro did actually a pretty good job of that. I think Sekiro actually did a pretty good job of that. Of, of having decent area variety while keeping it... Um, like keeping it making sense. <laughs> a lot of people will not agree with that, Ice. I, I would agree, but, well, maybe, I don't know. I would 100% agree, but a lot of people would not. Most people would not, actually. Um... I, yeah, I made a, I made a spreadsheet with the ratings of the uh, FromSoft games, or, or the Souls games. You did not do that well. I, w w what do you mean? Didn't do the areas or the uh, uh, area variety well, or what? I'm not, I'm not even talking about the level design or anything, because, yeah, maybe the level design's not so good in Skiro, but... I mean, I think a place like Fountainhead and, you know, the Mount Senpao or whatever it's called, and... And then you have Ashina, and, and they're all, like... I don't know, maybe they're not that distinct, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, the obvious objective correct thing is that Elder Scrolls is way better than Souls, so it does it, not, none of this even matters anyways. Because these games are mid at best and uh And yeah, that's it, dude. Simple. These games are all not that good. And Elder Scrolls is better in every possible way other than combat. <laughs> Um, let's go past the avatar this time. Surely I won't get blasted by him. 
If I do, it's instant karma. I'm too scared to not rest. I'm not going to go this way again, probably. It's gone, uh, dead waifu. Yeah, no, I actually definitely like Elder Souls games more, though. <laughs> 100%. That's not even a meme at all. There's plenty of games I like more than the Souls games. That being said, though, there's definitely no games that are better for challenge running for me than the Souls games, 100%, which is why I played them. That's the entire reason. So I was playing a no hit lies P. Well, I think. I don't know. I don't think people are waiting to steal strats. I think just people. Um. I, I don't know, actually. I haven't finished the game yet, so I don't... I don't know. I just, I just don't... Oh, dude, what am I doing? Uh, Let's go... Back here. <laughs> I'd be in Blee Fog's Barrow. Yeah, true, dude. Actually true. That seems so sketch, dude. Yeah, I'd be in Bleak Falls Barrow for sure. Yeah, no, I think for, for Liza P, um... I don't know. I, I don't know why people wouldn't be interested in uh, no-hitting it at this point. People have been speedrunning it a lot, from what I've seen. And maybe there are a lot of people doing Liza P no-hit. I just, I just haven't paid attention. Well, Elden, Elden Ring is the one exception, actually, to what I was just saying about not, you know, these games not being, uh, oh, oops. I, I definitely like Elden Ring substantially more than the other games in terms of, uh, what I say is the intended way of playing them, which is just playing them casually and dying a million times to bosses and all that stuff. This one's a bit of an exception. Uh, I think definitely a lot of that is due to it being open world. The exact same reason a lot of the kind of old school Souls fans don't like this game as much. Ultimately, though, obviously, you know, people have different opinions on stuff, and that's just all what it comes down to. I was saying the other day, I really, I, I don't see myself as a, as a Souls player as much as just like an Elder Souls player, like if, if anything. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Even a game like Warframe, I probably like more than, <laughs> than the Souls games. I, I, that's just more my, my style, I guess, dude. I, I don't know. It's, it's so, it's weird. I, I, it's kind of conflicting. Oh my god, I totally forgot this guy exploded. It's kind of conflicting because, uh, like, I play these games so much. And I like challenge running them a lot. But the way that they're kind of designed to be played, I don't even like it that much, dude. My first playthrough of DS3, I, I just quit. I didn't really like the game. 
And the only reason I came back to finish it was because of a no hit run I saw. I was like, oh, I'm just going to search stuff up through the rest of the game. And I enjoyed it a lot more doing it that way. It's weird, dude. I, 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 like, it's, it's so weird. I'm not sure why I like challenge running the game so much, but. I think I have enough runes for, oh. Just kidding. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, I, I, you would assume I'm an outlier of the, the Souls fan base. But no, I, I really like learning boss and like routing runs, basically, is what, what it comes down to. And yeah, again, it's not that's not me saying I don't like these games or something. I, I gave them, they were all basically a 7 or higher in my, in my ratings, which is high for me. Basically right between, that's the, they were right between kind of what I think is an average game and what is like the perfect game. So whatever that means. Like a really good game. But yeah, there's there's games I would put higher for sure. <laughs> because they're too easy. No. Definitely not. Which non Elder Scrolls games would I put higher? Um, I would put Fable 1 and 2 higher, probably. But it's a little tough, though, because I, you know, those are games that I, I definitely haven't played as much as Souls games. Souls are my most played games. But just just the way I feel about the games, yeah, Fable 1 and 2. Um, I think, I like, I would probably put Celeste over, over these games. I would definitely put Minecraft over these games. I'd put Warframe. What other games have I played? I wouldn't put Hades over these games. I like Hades, but probably wouldn't put it over this game. I don't know. No, Warframe's not a joke, dude. Like you guys, you guys say that because you're Souls fans and stuff, but um, one style of game that I really like is um, games that have really long progressions of of like your account and. You basically grind and you progress your account. I, I love those games, dude. So yeah, you guys you guys like Souls games and you're like, oh man, this guy's fucking crazy, but that's just what it is, man. Ooh. Oh my god, the lock on, bro. <laughs> that was so close. Ooh, that was so close, man. And yeah, and, and this is, like, to be fair, though, this is casually speaking, right? Because I, I didn't, you know, those other games that I mentioned, for the most part, I never played them not casually. And I'm comparing it to my casual experiences in these games. And just, like, which one do I think more highly of? Uh... And yeah, so that, that's just how it is, dude. And there, there's other games I'd, I'd probably put above, too, I think. No, I haven't played Monster Hunter, but I guarantee I would love that game and, and those games. I guarantee it, but I just I haven't played them. Yeah, and honestly, I'd, I'd probably put... I haven't played that many MMOs, but 
the one that I probably played the most is Swator. I'd probably put Swator over this in terms of how I feel about my experience in the game. Like, people would just think that's crazy, but... Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. That's just how it is, dude. But obviously, challenge running is a whole different thing, I think. Uh, Hollow, thanks for the three-month prime sub, and Tom Peter, thanks for the two-month uh, prime sub. Thanks, you guys. So, what did I... What are we missing here? Are we missing anything? I don't think so. I think we're just good to go. I haven't played Resident Evil games. Yeah, I would I would love Monster Hunter. There's there's no no doubt about it, but by the time I kind of heard about those games, I was already I was already <laughs> like doing other stuff. Clash of Clans. Well, I uh, I used to kind of play it like a long time ago. Um. Yeah, there's no doubt I like those games, man. Like. Pay attention here. Here we go. Totally, absolutely dismantled. Uh, Computer as well. Thanks for gifting out a sub, dude. But yeah, no, like, even, dude, even Raid Shadow Legends, I, I think it's fun as, it's a fun-ass game, dude. And so, yeah, I would like Genshin probably. I, I'm sure I would like all those games. I, I do like them. Uh, I don't really like microtransactions, though, and I don't like them existing, so that's that's an issue. But I, I can I can look past it for the most part. Like, it's just if, if a game has any competitive aspect to it, and there's microtransactions, then that's it. Like that's no go zone for me, dude. It's a no go for me. Although, like, I'll still play the game, but it's just obviously I'm not going to participate in. Any sort of competitive play. Yeah, speaking of RSL though, we got a YouTube stream next week. That's an RSL RSL sponsor. So I'm very <laughs> I'm very curious to see how the uh the YouTube audience will think of that. Especially since I have like a very developed account and stuff that's like actually mine. It'll be interesting. To say the least. It's always a good, it's, you know, it's the, the best thing as a streamer is being able to get paid for playing a game you already are playing or are going to play. Um, and I, like, I haven't, I haven't played Raid in a while, but like, I, I, I don't mind just going back to my account and, and showing it off and stuff. Same with like Lords of the Fallen coming up. Like, I, I honestly, I was kind of on the fence about playing it and I said I was going to play it like maybe next year or something, just like wait a bit, but. Man, if you're going to have any money to play it, then hell yeah, dude. Sign me right up. Uh, Liza P or Starfield? It, it depends. For me, I would go li uh, Star Starfield 100%, but that's just... I've already established that I really like Bethesda games. Or at least... Yeah, I like Bethesda games. I'm actually not as big of a fan of Fallout. Just because I'm not a... I'm not big into, like, guns and stuff, although... I used to play... I used to play Halo and stuff like that back a while ago. Stream Minecraft? I did stream Minecraft a few years ago. Yeah, Minecraft might, like... It's definitely... In terms of my favorite games of all time, it's between Minecraft and Morrowind. I usually say Morrowind, but it could be Minecraft too. Like, they're probably basically tied. It's just they're different types of games, obviously, so. Uh, I'm not going Magic Scorpion because it's too much effort. We're already getting a lot of buffs on this run, so we don't really need it. Starfield is Fallout 4 in space. It, yeah, it kind of is, right? Exactly. That's why um, I, I really like the game. I, I 
I don't mind the Fallout games, but yeah, it's not my absolute favorite. I do think I like Starfield more than Fallout, though. Probably any Fallout game. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know, actually. I don't know about that. No, I haven't played Baldur's Gate, but you know what? I was actually thinking last night, I'm going to buy it and I'm going to play it. That's what I was thinking last night, dude. So, so I'm at least going to buy it, and then surely buying it will make me play it. But yeah, I'll, I'll play it for sure. Like, I, I'm going to buy it. I've, I've been convinced. I've seen the hype around it. I've watched a lot of gameplay. I'm going to pull the trigger. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas. That's 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 my favorite Fallout game. And yeah, I that's that's the that's why that's my favorite one and I probably like that game more than Starfield so far. I haven't actually beaten Starfield yet though. Or anything like that. I I've I've only got like I've only got like 40 hours in the game which I put in right when it came out. It's not that I don't like the game, it's that I when when you're streaming it's it's hard to play other games on the side, I think. Especially the fact that I'm not a variety streamer and I I don't want to be one honestly. I like enjoying my games just by myself. Like any any normal person. And I like doing the challenge runs on stream and all that stuff. Uh, and I, I don't think I would really want to change that. But it, that being said, it's still... It's tricky to find time to do it, I think. Be the best gaslighter on there. Yeah, if that's an option, then probably. Probably, yeah. And one thing, too, about streaming that I, I think it's more fun streaming when I can, you know, talk about stuff and not really have to pay attention to the game. But if I'm playing a new game on stream, I, I, I don't know if I'm just really bad or something, but there's no way I can split my attention between playing the game and enjoying it and then also you know doing streamer stuff it was the same with Liza P dude I you know I just don't I don't say a word I'm just playing the game and I can't really pay attention to anything else that's going on because I'm trying to like pay attention uh I'm sure people would be fine with me streaming that though but I just I, I'd rather not think about anything else other than the game Whereas this, I mean, look at right now, the past hour and 40 minutes, I haven't paid attention a single time. And we're still, we're still going, so, so yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't, I don't really think I'd like being a variety streamer, probably. Uh, Gonzo, thanks for the three-month resub, dude. I appreciate that. I, dude, I would love to do some Minecraft uh, challenge runs at some point. Although... I don't know when. Especially because Elder Souls is going to be the next thing, right? We're going to do some Morrowind. going to do some Oblivion. Uh, and then a trilogy run. <laughs> no damage, I guess. So that'll be fun, I think. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually playing real Elden Ring, dude. Surely. Yeah, Celeste, I, I said years ago that I, I really wanted to do Celeste, no fall. And I, I, I still would like to do that um, at some point in time. I said I was also going to do Cuphead. I'd rather do Celeste, though. I, I That's another game I, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I probably don't like Cuphead more than these games. No. Close, though. I like Cuphead a lot. Um, I, I like some roguelikes. I don't play them often, but probably my favorite one is... The last one I played was Hades, and Hades 2 is supposed to be coming out eventually, right? Or did that... That didn't already happen, and I missed it, right? Um, yeah, my favorite one's probably FTL, I guess. I don't really see a lot of people talk about that game, because it's, you know, it's pretty old and stuff, but... <laughs> That's on Roblox. I've never played Roblox. I have no idea. Neighbors see my videos? Uh, like, you mean... 
Like, if they look over, can they see? I, I guess probably, but... Probably not, actually. There's a big forest between. They'd have to really look hard. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely have not paid attention this whole run, and we're at Fire Giant, <laughs> so... Uh, we can go get Red Feather now, I guess, or... I'm going to go get Seppuku because I don't have any other way to deal damage to myself. I, I like board games. I guess I don't really... Um, I don't really play board games, though. But when I was younger, I used to play them, I guess, and I like them. Does chess count as a board game? I guess so. Kind of different, though, I feel like. Not that I play chess, really. I just... I do enjoy chess, though. I like chess. I just don't really play it often or anything. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it is a board game, but it's it's definitely different than like Monopoly or something like that, right? <laughs> um, okay, let me put this on something. And let's also go get Red Feather now. <laughs> yeah, just a Monopoly, dude. Same game, basically. Yeah, when I think of a board game, I think of Monopoly or something like that. Uh, Bloody Slash, because I don't have to go kill another enemy, and this is also faster. Oh, I shouldn't have swapped that. I should work, because we're going to use it again. Dude, I love Sudoku, man. I, I've played that on stream several times. I, I, I used to play it on stream a few years ago. Like, pretty often. Well, maybe not pretty often, but... Sudoku's really fun. No, <laughs> definitely not competitive, but... Uh, no. I feel like I, I, I was... I, I wasn't, um... Yeah, I didn't do competitive, but... I got pretty good at it. I was playing it a lot. Like, I could basically solve almost anything. If I had enough time, at least. Yeah, I watch Cracking the Cryptic all the time. Or, I, I used to, I mean. Which is basically how I learned to be decent at it. I would assume this one shots, but I don't know. You have to assume this is a one shot. Please don't go back there. There it is. What does the last rights in the shared order do? In this case, it every so last rights plus one hundred percent damage, um, plus one hundred percent holy damage to undead enemies, and shared order does the same. So, so yeah. So we're and then also holy pots have like an insane multiplier against those guys too. So that's why. You can get some of the highest numbers you can possibly get in the game. There's a, there's a, I, I, I threw a, a holy pot at the death right bird and in the snow field that dealt, dealt like 70,000 damage or something like that. It was like 72,000. Um, but yeah, I guess that's, that's technically not the biggest hit you can get in the game, but it's the biggest non critical hit. I think you can get in the game probably some, somewhere around there. 
Maybe it's not, though. I, I don't actually know. I, I don't really watch anime. I've seen One Punch Man, and I've seen... Uh, what else have I seen, dude? I don't even know. That's basically the only one that I've seen that I actually like, I think. Or maybe that's the only one I can remember watching, so. I really like One Punch Man, actually, though. That's that's a that's a fun show. I'm excited for I feel like I saw something recently about another season coming out. Maybe that's wrong, but I I don't really um I don't really watch many shows or anything though. Just too busy playing games to watch shows, I think. Too busy watching or too busy playing games and watching hockey to to watch shows. It's the biggest hit you can get in the game. The biggest hit I've seen is a repost on one of those head machine things, and it was like 200 or 300,000 or something like that. Pay me if I watch Full Metal Alchemist. How much? <laughs> I actually have seen parts of it. I don't remember which one, though. Yeah, you know, like, the things that breathe fire or whatever? Oh, yeah, maybe it was two million. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't remember. Soccer popular? Uh, it's pretty popular, yeah. Not, not like, crazy. Not, not, uh... There's a lot of people who play soccer, but... Football, or, or sorry, hockey is definitely um, more popular overall. But I, I, I probably more people play soccer here than than hockey. I would assume, just considering how much more accessible soccer is. Um. Okay. Yo. That's just gonna be free. <laughs> no, I'm not actually blocked by Miyazaki. No, I, I, well, I was just curious. Obviously, I wouldn't. If somebody paid me like a thousand dollars to watch a show, a viewer especially, there's no chance I would. But I was just wondering how much they were. Uh, they were gonna like offer, just just because I was curious about it. Now, if it's if it, a company did that, then that's a different story. But if someone's like, "Yeah, we'll pay you to watch some show on stream," it's like, "Okay, sure, I'll do that." Probably. Uh, fuck. I didn't end up sleeping him, right? Time to get blasted. really interesting how this weapon um like it's so good here and then it really drops off at the end kind of insane dude because usually if a weapon drops off it would have already dropped off by now in, in my experience doing all these no hit runs with random weapons most of the time if a weapon is not that good by the time you get past morgot is when it shows that it's you know 
That's when it really drops off. Mostly the Halo weapons, right? Or Halo weapons. The Holy weapons. I was thinking of the Halo Scythe, but... But yeah, like, this weapon... Basically, after Gods can do it, it's like... It's... It goes... It's, it goes to top tier to... Kind of average, I would say. I guess we're going to set up Red Feather for Malika, so it should be... It should kill him, I would assume. Um... But yeah, we'll have to see. Also, I totally forgot to pick up the Frenzy Stone, so I guess we'll have to do that later. <clears throat> Falling off this chain? Yeah, when I fell asleep. This world and death are you to commit. Very well at my hand. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you need a big opening. And also, Frost is a huge component of why this does so much damage. And so when you get to Elden Beast, for example... You have those big openings, but you don't have the frost, so the damage is significantly reduced. Getting really bright, man, right now. Remember when I said like two months ago that I would never use lights for streaming because I just would hate it? It's actually not that bad because I don't know. Probably depends on the lights, but I was thinking it'd, I would have like a fucking spotlight on me the whole time and it'd just be so obnoxious. But but yeah, these are not really like I kind of barely even notice them. Like they're pretty bright, but they're super like diffused and. I don't know. Oh, you know what I didn't figure out? Actually, the skelly up here. Um, There's a skelly up here that aggroed to me last time and almost hit me. And I don't really know what to do about him. Because this, obviously, Unseen Form doesn't make you silent. Soft cotton. Well, too late for that. <laughs> I I just have two lights. Yeah, by by no means is it like the <laughs> you know, like the perfect professional setup, but gets the job kinda done. I wonder if I should jump off of this. Oh. Okay, yeah, maybe that's better. I don't know. Because last time I didn't jump, and I just, like, hard... F I, I got a hard landing, and then when I was running past him, he swung at me, and I had to dodge it. Yeah, lights for TikTok dances, dude. <laughs> yeah. I love my TikTok dances. I love TikTok. I love social media and I love uh, making a fool of myself online. And so just perfect, dude. I also love like selling or not even I love having all my information just out there so that the, you know, all these governments can just take it and sell it off or whatever. Or companies can sell off to the government. I just love that. Yeah, I love NPC streaming as well. Um, I love it all, dude. <laughs> That's totally the type of person I am. What am I even doing right now? I don't know. Yeah, guy who, guy, hockey playing guy who lives in the middle of nowhere. TikTok dances for, oh, really didn't mess this up. TikTok dances for personal enjoyment. Love it, dude.
pretty big contrast that between or between this kill and my master run kill, you could say. You could say there's a slight difference. What do I think of the accusation saying I'm AI generated? Um it's true. So. Now we haven't done the master run yet. And it's funny, the, the only talismans we have that are doing anything are, are uh, Warrior Jar and Ritual Sword. That's it. So obviously, if you wanted to make this build better, you go um, Magic Scorpion plus... I actually don't know what it, what you put in the last slot. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my camera's exposure down really quick, you guys. One second. Okay. Um. So should I do? I think I said I wasn't gonna do bird skip, right? You have a bow and arrow to shoot the dragon. Then I need an. I need a singular arrow. Yeah, I, I don't know what else you would go on on this build, because really the only thing that's good about it is the Ash of War, and there's not really anything else that buffs it in terms of talismans. So, surely this will go well. Luckily, I did test this segment out with Unseen Form, and it looks like it's all good to go. Obviously, for people who aren't aware, the, the difference between Unseen Form and Assassin's Gambit, which I usually use, is Unseen Form doesn't make you silent. So it's it's worse in terms of stealth. And but but yeah, the reason why I'm using it now is because it's just it's easier to get than it's easier to get than uh, Assassin's Gambit, so. I would assume I could just do this, right? Yeah, you, well, yeah, you got to kill an NPC for Gambit, and then you got to go to Volcano Manor, but the NPC is not a pushover for some of the weapons, right? It's actually a pain in the ass sometimes, especially for the bad weapons, so it's just overall easier to just not even have to do deal with him, and... Just use Unseen Form instead. And honestly, it basically doesn't change. It almost doesn't change anything. Alright, all these segments still work the exact same way. Oh. You have a clip, Hachi? Or is that not real? Is that a troll? I mean, two people said it, so it doesn't sound like a troll. No way. In Elden Ring, he fell somewhere? Is that for God's Gonduo or something? Did he pull- did he almost pull at me? I- I almost did that. I almost fell in the game 7, dude. 
Oops. Guess let's see. Oh my god, no, dude. No. Under your desk can see the spirits of every seaman you wanked into the bone up here. Bro. No! No, 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 Dude, no way. <laughs> oh my god. That is not good. No! And he couldn't jump again because the, I guess, I, I don't know. Because he fell and then jumped, like his, his second jump already was counted there. Bro. I, I find it just by far the best to just drop onto this other one. No! I feel bad for laughing, but man. Early game Elden Ring hit in game six, dude. I think he, he may, like he probably just wasn't paying enough attention here, right? Like that, that those are the most painful hits for me, at, at least, is when I get hit to something so simple where it's like, man, if I just if I just paid one like ounce of attention, I'm not making that mistake. No! His, his reaction, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe this. No. I can't believe he died like that. No! No, 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 Like his DS1 hit in game six that I saw the other day. Um Like it was it was kind of just like a normal hit that you take, right? Like something goes wrong and or or maybe like I think he was just doing a strat that wasn't good. Like that stuff happens, but man. A hit like that. He also could have fast traveled. Which is, uh, it's good muscle memory to get into if you're no hitting this game. Like being able to fast travel if you're falling. What am I doing? I have just not paid attention at all in this run, you guys. Well, yeah, he didn't double jump, but it's because he fell down and then that second jump that he did counted as his second jump, right? And that's just, it just, it's how the the horse movement in this game is is honestly trash, right? But but yeah, ultimately ultimately that just happened because he wasn't paying enough attention. And yeah, that's that's brutal, man. That is brutal. Kind of comical though. Um, we're plus 10. We will use Red Feather here, I think. <laughs> Dude. We're gonna I, I was saying earlier, I totally jinxed it, man. I was saying that he was going to get the run today. I was saying to, that he was going to do it today, man. He's been so consistent getting late into his run. Just every time I see him, he's on like game 5 or 6 or something, dude. But just I don't know just can't pull the trigger that actually you know what that reminds me of actually a lot is uh, <laughs> I had a death in DS3 uh, when I was doing all bosses SL1 all bosses no hit but I guess it, I guess it is kind of similar right where it's a segment where you know, you don't think anything can go wrong, but I fell down an elevator shaft while trying to set up a red tear stone because I, I wasn't really paying attention. Well, I was paying attention, but I was trying to figure out how to set up red tear stone and uh, yeah, I totally dunked myself. And it, like that, that is a very similar thing, right? Because it's like towards the end of the run and I forgot to get the spell blade set. I guess I'll go do that. Yeah, very similar. Like, that's exactly what that reminds me of. And that feeling, it just... It's not a good feeling, dude. You know, sometimes when you get... When you're on a run and you get hit, you make, like, an honest mistake. It's, it, it feels a lot different than that. Because there... When that happens, you just feel like a total idiot. Right? Like... But if, if you make a mistake on a boss, it's like, okay, you know. 
I had all this pressure and now it's it's gone, but you gotta reflect on the hit and improve and stuff, but Gino, thanks for the 10 month uh, prime sub, dude. Welcome back. But yeah, that that's tough, dude. I don't think it's fatigue because that, that was his first run of the day today. Like he, he took a break and I guess when, when I got the God Run 3, it was a little bit of a, it was a little bit different than some of the other runners who are doing it slash have done it, where for me, it took stream and a half. But most of the other runs are take place over like three, four, maybe even five streams because their runs just aren't as efficient. Like they don't focus on efficiency as much. So, well, he did Demon Souls, but he, he killed a lot yesterday is what I saw. So he had like two bosses or, or something to do in Demon's Souls today, but. But no, it wasn't fatigue. He honestly, I think he was just, he heard the donation. Is in a segment of the game that doesn't really need that much focus and just lot, yeah, like just lost focus, dude. It's, it's for, for sure it's happened to me like numerous times before, but maybe not like whatever, how many hours in he was there into a run. Uh, Max, thanks for the two-month prime sub, dude. Okay, here we go, you guys. Let's see if this is enough to kill him. We got Red Feather going. You would think. But yeah, I, I think he'll... I, I still stand by the thing saying that he'll get the run, like, very, very soon. He's already shown that he's he's been super consistent at a lot of games where it matters now, and he's definitely improved a lot. Holy shit, dude. Uh, whoa. Oh my god. Yep, that's Red Feather right there. And a plus 10. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Even the, the initial trail sent him into phase two. I didn't, like, just the trail did that. Dang. That really did scare me, though. Like, that that hidden phase two, it, that was close. Because you, you, you pull your arm back, and then when he swings the sword... On one of the practice attempts, I got hit because of that. Or not practice attempts, but like... And I was testing out that boss. Yeah, I guess it hasn't fallen off yet. Yeah, maybe I take that back like, a little bit. But to be fair, though, again, we are using Red Feather here, which is something I haven't used on the other runs yet. So it's getting, you know, it's looking better. Because of that. But the thing is, if your damage is even slightly lower right there. Um, then all of a sudden the fight turns into like not such a good fight, right? <laughs> How's it going, Raiden? Okay, let's get this. Frenzy Flamestone. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt that this weapon's insanely strong. But for no hit, it's not the best option. I think there's plenty of weapons that are better. And, like, the reason I, I think that is just because it's not very, um, it's not very flexible, you know? At least with this kind of build we're going with. Although, who knows? Like, maybe a Charge R2 build in combination with a Weapon Art build is also good. But yeah, it's just, it's not a versatile enough to be, like, an absolute top-tier weapon. I didn't set up Red Feather here, right? I don't, we don't need it. I will, I might as well set it up for a Godfrey, though. Like, we might as well just see the extra damage, right? Since I've got it. Man, I cannot believe he died like that, dude. 
Is he, he? He's probably back into attempts, though, right? I would assume. Oh, that's just brutal. And as soon as as soon as I saw that he was in Limgrave, I was like, no way. He's like, I've seen people die to that fall before. I don't get blasted, Gideon. <laughs> I love seeing him go into the uh, the the madness animation and then just instantly dying. It's just beautiful, dude. I love that strat a lot. Beautiful strat. Yeah, I saw the clip of yeah, I saw the clip of Hob dying, dude. Just, like, I I don't know, man. This is brutal. Yeah, game six. And, it, the, again, I, basically what I was saying is that those are the are the most painful hits. When you're no-hit running, those are by far the most painful hits. Because it's just... It's not like you made some sort of mistake and that you have to learn from it or something. It's... It, just you weren't paying attention, dude. That's it. And I, yeah, like I was saying, I've definitely taken hits like that in the past. And looking back, they're pretty funny. But man, when it happens, oh, dude, it's just not a good feeling. It is not a good feeling. And again, like, especially because that's a long run too, right? I, I don't know many how many hours he was into that run right there. But... It's a significant amount of time. So that probably makes it even worse, dude. I'm not going to use the full spell blade set here because I want a light roll. Is it really 20 hours, man? Dude. This isn't killing me, right? I don't know why, it just looked like I had less health this time, but clearly not. Yeah, and, and that, honestly, that right there is why I prioritize efficiency on, on my runs so much. Is because, like, that's a, that's a perfect comparison, right? The way I did the God Run 3, I really focused on being efficient. And by the time I got into game 6, I, I, I mean, I was probably like, what, 7 hours in? Or, or less even going into game six um but yeah v versus 20 like just think about how much time that is and if, if you have the same consistency as the other player who's just not as fast then you're just going to get the run so much more quick right and yeah not to mention all the other factors in, in terms of concentration and like the uh, amount of time you're under stress which is a big consideration actually Um, oh yeah. Yeah, that's, I, I, I realized that like many, basically right when I started no hit running. Years ago. I bet he didn't get caught in that. Goodbye, sir. That's so gross, dude. That's just, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, remember when I was saying this weapon kind of fell off, dude? I, 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 uh, what I was, what I was, like, remembering in my brain was the time we were testing this and I didn't have all these, like, little strats figured out. But now that we do, it's kind of just, like, it's actually just disgusting.
I mean, that's 99 intelligence right there. Like, well, is it? I guess it's actually not, but. Yeah, that's that's what I was remembering. That's my that's my defense for that. Is I was remembering when we were first going through some of the bosses and it just like it wasn't looking so great. Such as Malaketh and Gideon and or Lou as well, to be honest. It looked not good. Okay, so what do we do here again? Ash of War. Ash of War R1, jump R2. We want to try to drink after as well. Oh, it did get him. Holy shit, dude. I, I was so prepared to, to dodge that, but... Easy. I, I, I wasn't even looking at his health bar right there. I was just prepared to dodge Elden Stars because... I don't know. I, I didn't think it was going to be enough, but there we go, dude. Yeah, so I was saying that this weapon wasn't looking so good. And then it basically just scripted every boss... Was there, was there a single boss that wasn't basically fully scripted? I guess Horlu kind of wasn't fully scripted. I guess Malika kind of not, but... Probably where it struggled the most was on, on the Godfrey fights. But then when we get to Horlu, it just totally, absolutely decimates him, right? There we go. Totally destroyed the whole game. But yeah, what I think about this weapon, the reason I don't like it as much as some of the other ones, like Dark Moon Greatsword and stuff, is that it's, it's too... I think there's too much of a prerequisite prereq for it to be super good. Um, like, there's too too much knowledge you need to have for it to actually be just good right away. Although, that, I guess that doesn't really matter, right? And I guess what I was saying earlier, too, is it could be good on casual because you can just tank hits. It's it's a little slow. The Ash War is definitely too, like, it's, it's really slow. I was saying if it was 10% faster, then there would be so many more punish openings that you'd have with it, and it would be a lot better. But... It's a little slow, and I guess if you're doing casual playthrough, you can just tank, and then you still get a ton of damage off, and you win the trade. But, yeah, for no hit, it's it's just, I, I think it's just a little too specific on a lot of the bosses. And if, if you don't know these strats, then it's actually not even going to be that good at all, so. So, obviously, it's, it's maybe not top tier for all these fights, but it kind of is if you know all this stuff, right? I like Dark Moon Greatsword better. I think it was an easier no hit, but this one, obviously, once we figure out the strats, it's just like it's so easy, dude. Tell a story. Uh, Sila, thanks for the brand new sub. I appreciate that. Of how a tarnished but there we go. Came Elden Lord. Another rundown. In our home. Also, to be fair, we did use Red Feather on this, which the other two runs we've done so far, I haven't. Between. So, in Red Feather, I think is kind of necessary for this route if you want it to be, to be easier. So. 
on us. Yeah, that's that's true, Firefell. Yeah, if you if you watched only this run, then it's it's an easy like god tier S tier weapon or something. And probably people who watch it will think it's better than the Dark Moon Greatsword. But it's definitely not. Like we had to workshop a lot of these strats for much longer. Whereas Dark Moon Greatsword, I just go in, I don't have to think about it, and it just blasts everything. So So yeah. Really good weapon, but you really need to know what you're doing with it to make it good for no hit, I think. Or you need to know all these strats, which now we do know, so. Yeah, there we go. Another run down, dude. In-game time, 2.14. This is definitely the longest run so far by a long shot. But yeah, let's check, the, let's check the spreadsheet really quick. Man, arm is so fast, dude. <laughs> okay, Death Poker done, Darkman Greats are done, Keen Arumi done. So, I don't know what's next. I was saying maybe Mogwin Sacred Spear next. want to start getting some All Remembrances runs in there. You also could do Dark Souls 3. I, I really like this, this run idea right here. World's first route slash patch, basically meaning that we're going to copy the exact same strats as the world's first no-hit run in Dark Souls 3 from 2016. That sounds like a lot of fun to me, dude, because that's kind of what I did when I first started no-hitting. And just cheat in the hand of millennia? I would assume as much. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Although, yeah, no, it's way too late. But yeah, there's there's so many runs to do, man. We might do, yeah, we might do the spear next. I'm not really sure. And I will be on tomorrow. Probably on YouTube, but I will be actually streaming tomorrow. This is, I, I'm free this weekend. So yeah, I'm going to be probably on YouTube tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'll be back on Twitch playing Lords of the Fallen.